Hey everyone, well today it's the 28th of March and I got a lot of requests from people asking me when the lawn boys are going to be started up and the trimmers for the 2015 seasonal year but unfortunately it's going to have to wait for a couple more weeks since we are still covered in snow. Uh, currently the weather here is around plus 4 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's probably around 39, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So just two weeks ago, uh, we had about like three feet of snow in the backyard. Now it's about a foot and a half, maybe a little bit more. So I thought I should give you an update on the small engine equipment that I have, as well as give you a startup of my Chevy Colorado. You haven't seen that in over a month and a half. So into this shed here are my two snowblowers. Both of them have Snow King Tecumseh motors. This one is not an overhead valve, this one is. Uh, this is my personal snowblower. It's a 2001 Mastercraft 4x4. And this is my father's 2003, but it's really a 2000 model according to the serial number. Say 38,559. PowerShift 1028. Natoro is flawless and never any issues except uh, transmission cable that broke uh, maybe last winter, but other than that, runs fine. This one is always plagued with problems, especially the chute. And I think I busted the gearbox on there. I don't think I broke the shear pins because if I did it would sprint freely so I'm gonna have to check to see what's up with that <sighs> this one here that says it's arctic tested but <laughs> that's a lie whenever it's too cold uh, the magnets don't even engage you have to really warm it up before it actually works anyway and on to my lawnmowers. Gonna have to tread in deep snow. So you can see there's way too much snow to take out all the lawnmowers to start up. So hopefully when it melts, which I'm hoping probably in two or three weeks time, we'll be able to start them. So anyways, here they are unstarted since September of 2014 so here you have all my steel trimmers uh, another steel home light 26 SS the Chinese Home Depot bought one that's still running believe it or not the only thing that was wrong with it was a spark plug problem that I had to replace and other than that it runs fine you have a 70s data out of the water uh, the carburetor I haven't touched it since I bought it in 2010 um, needs to be serviced I did buy a carburetor kit for it and when it gets warmer I'll install it as well as tune it up put a new spark plug clean the air filter and she'll be good as new here are some of my other trimmers here oh I'm not looking forward to starting that one that's always hard starting it takes around <laughs> 25 30 pulls though it did start good last year here's that home light z 25 sd have to adjust the carburetor again have a couple of electrics here an old vintage black and decker and here and here as well got a battery powered weed eater my two backpacks over here br430 and 550 430 needs a spark racer screen that needs to be clean that's not a problem I'll just use the blow torch method I'll make a video on that showing how I do it there's the other ones 5586 and BR420 and some of the lawnmowers here Nikita battery powered Black & Decker LM1820 Rally BP75 AR 1990 model with a quantum Briggs and Stratton motor 5127 that I got from one of my clients first time I started it in 14 years and ran fine 
52.77 way underneath there behind the pillow. My V Power 10201, 1993. Pretty. <laughs> 5269G, 409 engine. There's another weed eater blower. I got a 5126, the country house one. That one is the only lawn boy that doesn't run at this time. And I got another one over here that I garbage picked uh, over six years ago. Nothing wrong with it. 7073 F motor. Duraforce, a 1998 10323. The very first lawn boy that I purchased back 17 years ago. Oh, 2006 Honda MTD Gold Series lawnmower runs perfect and never a problem with it. One of my best lawnmowers. That's my uncle's 5127. Just needs a carp cleaning, and that runs perfect. My two soldiers to come see lawn boys. This one here, 503, is a 10360 with a five horsepower version, 2001. Very low hours and this one here is a uh, many many hours that I put onto this one 1999 Tecumseh 10260 with a four and a half horsepower version always starts this one here is an 87 Lomboy A243AE with recoil F motor uh, this one here is the 4630 F motor, 2010 Longboy 10642C, electric start, Briggs and Stratton quantum motor, brand new motor. I put onto it, the other one quit with a warped flywheel and scored cylinder head. So that's got a brand new engine on there. This one here is a 1999 Yard Machines Rotary Tiller, 24 inch. Gold Series 10401C with the F motor. Got it rebuilt. And not forget the newest one in my collection, the 1991 Longboy CM21 ERMA or the Longboy M Series with the M series motor which could be a clone of a Suzuki engine that they used in their Toro commercial lawnmowers. Alright here's a quick rock around of my 2010 Chevrolet Colorado LT with the Vortec 3700 inline 5 cylinder as it says right over here Since the winter, I've probably cleaned it around twice. Didn't want, I wanted to do more cleaning, but it was just way too cold, and I didn't want to risk my doors being froze over. And it gave its first interior clean since the fall of 2014. Try to get it as clean as I can be, but <coughs> Needs a good scrub down for sure. Extended cab version. Steel green metallic, that's the color. And what's really cool that I just found out is that if you look way down below, over there. The G80 locking differential. No wonder my truck was so well in the snow, being it only two wheel drive. And how do you know if you have a G80? Well, you look in your glove box. And that's not in the macro yet. Let's let me just. Zoom in and macro right over there, G80. Awesome.
manual windows, but that's okay. I can live with it. Virtually the same truck as the GMC Canyon and the Zuzu i series, the i370 to be precise. All right, let's see how this truck starts. Sixty-nine thousand two hundred and thirty-two kilometers. There we go. Awesome. If just press info, I have all the. Impossible. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. We sounding motor. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and stay tuned, hopefully within the next two weeks we're going to start up the lawnmowers for 2015. It's going to be a good one since most of my lawn boys has been rebuilt, so wait for that video. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, see you later.